Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is for the kickboxing tournament finals. Let's make some noise! Here. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Jared, the natural talent. Yeah, this album is dedicated to all the teachers that told me I'll never amount to nothing. We saw earlier this evening Jared Talent with a tough victory over Will Perkins. When I was trying to make some money to feed my daughter and all the niggas in the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Once again, this is a tournament style kickboxing, four man tournament. So Jared fought early evening. Decision win over Will Perkins, so we'll see how they're holding up. Jared trained Team Elevation just cardio good, and his pressure was pretty intense. He kept a pretty high pace, stayed calm, collected, was able to get the job done in vicious fashion by decision victory. A lot of promotions are beginning to do this multiple fight in a night. Kind of trains, changes the way you train as an athlete. And you really got to work your endurance. This is where you will be able to come into play with uh with fighters that got to fight twice in one night. That first fight is all who worked the hardest, toughness, skill, all of those things. But then you got to go back and sit for 45 minutes. When you at practice and you spar five, six, seven rounds, you're done. You go chill. And his opponent We've fighting been doing our, out of the our, red corner. Our whole career. Please We're welcome done. Israel, fight, the Peruvian A hard Mahler fight like both of those guys fought. Ortiz. And then you have to go rest, relax. Your mental coaching can get those guys back up to their feet and their minds back up to competition. And so they're able to go in there and do what they're supposed to do. That's when you were really coming to play. That's right, Israel Ortiz makes his walk to the ring, looking mentally ready to go. Strong focus. I have each one of my athletes create a pre-fight ritual or routine, a series of movements, trigger phrases, and anchoring that unlocks peak performance state. So it's the same thing every time we train it. It's almost like you ever see Captain America Winter Soldier? They read those words. Redwood, train, oh, all those yes. things. Yeah, and lock yeah. and they go into kill mode. That's the same thing we work. We do that on a conscious and subconscious level so that that way they can perform at any time. And we'll set a 20 minute routine, a five minute routine, and then a three second routine because you never know what situation or scenario right. you're gonna need to unleash the beast. But as Israel looks at his opponent, Jared, all business. Both these athletes looked incredible in their first fights. I can't wait of our kick KCC turn down. Right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is sponsored by Thatcher's Training Center and On The Rocks Liquor. The winner of this bout will be tonight's kickboxing four-man tournament champion. Let's make some noise and honor these warriors. <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. This is a, the fight that I'm most excited about. Of for one win and no losses. He and stands that, that five feet eight inches because tall, because weighing in McCord, at 150 Thomas pounds, Thatcher, uh, fighting Lazy, out of Apex Drake, Combat Academy uh, by uh, way of Thomas Denver, Allen, Colorado. Please Anthony, welcome those are guys that I really Jared, enjoy watching the fight, natural so, this is the talent. One I'm most excited about for tonight. Well, the tournament had something so and cool. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a striker. It's, it's kind of like a real life record of two wins and you're two it. losses. You, you're in it he to win it. You got to fight multiple times. Tall, weighing in at 145.8 pounds. Fighting out of really, Sagasu I mean, you can Martial feel it Arts in the crowd. by way of Leavenworth, Kansas. Please welcome Israel, the Peruvian Mahler Ortiz.
Your referee in charge of the action, Nick Behrens. And here we go. Let's see if Jared can keep up that pace that he did in his first fight. And they're off. Kind of a feeling out process here. A little bit slower start than the first fight, kind of to be expected, but That's Israel looking Israel to open up. Likes to, uh, oh, he hits him upstairs with a left Moves hook. on his toes. Good combo from Israel. Strong stance from Israel. Nice jab. Jared working that jab. Good overhand from Israel. He was catching his opponent with earlier. Gets today. him back into the corner. Watch out for those bodies, those knees to the body. Jared, vicious on those knees, and he gets you in the corner. Good jab. The thing about the jab is sometimes you don't even got to, you don't even got to land with the jab. Just put it in his face sometimes. Just put it in his face. Blind him with it. Then come over with the right hand. Double up on a missed jab. Come over with the right hand. Double up on a missed jab. Come with the, come up with the missed jab to the low kick. You don't always got to hit with the jab, but it's always important. Just a disrupting shot there. Got him back into the corner. Watch that knee. Like I said, it hurts. What you're looking to see here is Israel really explodes. He'll, he'll just unleash with a six combo. Seeming to come out of left field. Let's see if he can get off. There it is, a head kick upstairs. Yeah, disguises those head kicks real well. Leaping, lunging hook. Just misses its mark. Hunter working the inside leg kick. Very nice. Let's see if he backs him into that corner and throws that knee. Israel flies out. Like you said, good jab work coming out of the corner of Jared. Jared Talp. Some excellent jabs, lunging, leaning in. Cardio seems to be good. Israel maintaining control, though. Lots of power shots, disguising that head kick and getting it off every now and again. The lovely Whitney takes us into round two. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of tonight's bout right here will be received. You can say that again. The lovely the beautiful <laughs> Kansas Combat Coalition belt you see before you guys. Let's give it up for these two warriors. This is their second fight tonight. Let's give it up. Props to both athletes fighting two fights and still getting after it with this kind of intensity. I love it. That's why I love fight night. And here we go at round two. This fight is about to pick up. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure this fight is about to pick up. With a quick... A little bit of a feeling pro process. Jared goes back to his jab. Israel looks to get something going. Circles yeah, Jared out. with the leg kicks. Nice jab, nice one-two, down a pipe. Don't load it up or anything, just throw it. Jared does a great job of coming in and then bouncing out, really working that range and that distance. So many fighters kind of just get stuck or come in straight, but. Nice left hook from Israel. He's laying that left hook all, all night. Israel fires up top. Nice, one, two, three. Nice one, two, three, and then pushes him away. Looking to get off a leg kick there, just couldn't make it happen. Nice. When he threw that uh, two step into the left kick, that's like basic Dutch kickboxing. Not really used much, but it is highly effective. Pops his head back with the right. Man, Israel's got some fast hands. He catches you coming in and he just unloads. Jared gets back to uh, working his range. Going down low, going up high. And he had a lot of success in his first round working leg kicks, you know, on the outside of the leg, on the inside of the leg. And I'm not seeing as much of that this time. There it is. Goes back to that leg kick. 
He must have heard me back here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greg Coaching. <laughs> well, it's much easier to say it than actually do it. <laughs> Looks like they're going to finish off. Good Vicious body, body kicks. kicks. And we're going to see a round three. They're going the distance in this one, it looks like. So as of now, I mean, a close fight. Really tough to tell. Any adjustments or moves that you feel like you'd see or recommend for either one of these fighters? Jab. <laughs> the jab is king. Jab is king, man. If you're taking fight notes, everybody watching at home on pay-per-view, work your jab. Jab, 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 yeah. jab. You got one punch to work this week. It's going to be your jab. <laughs> Sets everything up off the jab. I watched a fight of Sergio Pettis, uh, I believe, earlier this year. And the guy literally beat him with a jab. Just a left jab. That was it. Kept him at distance. Every once in a while, threw a one, two, one, two, three. But 80% of that fight was a jab. And that's how he won. Yeah, you're, you're definitely on point here. I'm Everybody says it's the fundamentals. And here we go for round three and our conclusion of the Kickboxing Championship. Two Warriors enter their final round of the evening. Let's see who's gonna get it home. Nice kick to the body. Israel takes center. A lot of good in and out movement. Real light on the feet still. Nice one, two, there we go, that one, two. With a spinning back heel hook, catches him on the arm. Oh, he catches him in the head with a spinning kick. Nice switch kick, nice leg kick. I feel like Jared is not really using that uh, um, that low leg kick at, like he did in the first round with Will. The, the first fight was just... Oh, they're standing him trading. Ref's going to count it as a... Pressure. Israel's got some power in those hands for yes, his size. Do. He's knocked a few guys down tonight. Jared hungry to get back in there. Immediately, they get back after it. Jared goes yeah. to the jab. Working up high, he catches the leg, slams him into the ropes, goes up for the head kick, Here and he grabs him! He got him. He got him. With the uppercut, I was talking about. a wild exchange, he hit no hold off on it. You got to move forward. Gives him a little space. Israel Re is tough. Dumps him. I wonder bit. how good this guy is at MMA. Yeah, a little bit of MMA coming. That's, a, that's <laughs> the second kind of takedown we've seen. <laughs> Had him rocked there a little bit. Let's see how he responds. Short time in this last third round. They come out to establish a rhythm. Some head movement by Israel. 10 seconds remain. Here we go, they're gonna stand and trade. Nice ball. Who wants it more? A strong finish by both these guys getting after Jared it. Is moving forward. It's fight to the finish, <laughs> I love it. That was a beautiful fight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for these two warriors while we await the judge's decision. What a fight, nonstop action. And you gotta think, this is after already fighting once this evening. Impressive showing out of both Israel and Jared, the natural talent. Judges making their decision. Taking their time. A bit tough to score. 
very impressive showing by both these Warriors. Non-stop action for the KCC Kickboxing Championship. Certainly taking their time here. Looks like our announcer, Chris Garrity, getting the results. And here we. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges score this contest 29 27, declaring your winner. By unanimous decision in tonight's tournament champion, Israel. The Israel Ortiz with the decision Ortiz. victory. By unanimous decision. The head kick and the power of Israel was just too much. And he wins. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Israel. here with the winner. Israel, tell us what it's like to have two fights in the one Peruvian night. Peruvian Mahler. It's a blast. To be honest, it is. Maybe you feel like I was part of glory, you know? Try to uh, move up and try to progress to get better. Which fight was uh, harder, the first one or the second? Actually, I'm gonna be honest, both of them. Man, those guys are tough, their guys are young. You know, and they're gonna keep coming out and they're hungry as much as I am. What's it feel like to get that belt tonight? It feels good, I feel blessed. Put all the hard work, determination with all the guys, and I appreciate everybody who's out here supporting me, thank you. Is there anything you wanna say to anyone watching? on the, the pay-per-view tonight or anyone here in Lawrence? Hey, I just wanna say what's up to the people, to the fam and my kids, hey, I love you guys. This is all the hard work I put into. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your winner and tonight's tournament champion, Israel, the Peruvian Mahler Ortiz. Peruvian 